Today I'm with a great of European football, Paulo Sousa. Help me with the Portuguese, Paulo. Paulo Sousa? Paulo Sousa? Paulo Sousa. Paulo Sousa. Paulo Sousa. Paulo Sousa. Because Portuguese is a, is a rhythmic, beautiful language with a lot of flow, but it, it, the pronunciation is, is difficult and Sometimes I like to get it right. Sometimes it's difficult, yes. How many variations of your name do you hear when... <laughs> lots, too many. lots of them, lots of them. Especially because I pass, I cross to different countries. Yes. For that also, um, the expression is completely different. Well, we're with one of the most elegant, interesting, adventurous footballers of the last 30 or 40 years. Paulo Sousa, um, famous for Benfica, Lisbon, Juve, Dortmund, Panathinaikos, but also many other coaching jobs. Paulo, to begin with, thank you. It's lovely to it's chat. It's a to pleasure. You. It's a pleasure. You know, um, it's one of the most common questions you get that only three players won the Champions League consecutively. So I'm going to give you a difficult one to begin with. I need you to be a coach, a selection at all, and choose a five-a-side team because only three men won back-to-back -back Champions League. Marcel Desailly, quite a good player. Yeah. Samuel Eto'o, somebody I met, I know. Also a good player. And you. There are three in this five-a-side team. You're only allowed two more picks. You're both the player and you're the manager. In the five-a-side team, to go with Desai, Paulo Sousa and Eto, who are the other two? <laughs> Do I won the Champions League? No, oh, you can choose, I can, I can choose anybody from all time. You only saw them, you played with them, you coached them, but it has to be a good five-a-side team. The good five at side of the team. Zinedine Zidane, for me, it was in my time uh, the best player ever with everything. Uh, right, left, uh, very intelligent of occupy the spaces, uh, good timings all the time, good, all the great decisions, scoring goals, passes, assists, shooting from outside, uh, physically really good. For that, it's, uh, you get everything on that. And then um, probably someone always in my heart because someone um, he changed me many things, uh, but also as a footballer, it was already really modern. Gianluca Vialli, a striker, you know, at, uh, at that time, very, always very disponible to, to work hard without the ball. Uh, with the ball, with lots of mobility, movements, uh, always to giving a line of pass to each teammate. Then, uh, good technique on, to f on finishing, uh, acrobatic things, uh, you know, it's uh, very enthusiastic all the time, and a big leader for that. Uh, I, I learn a lot with him. It's someone, it's always close to me. I, have, I could decide many of the others, uh, Figo, Jorge Costa, but uh, uh, Gianluca, um, he meaning to, to me many um, uh, in, in at the, the emotional part of the football and all my life. He represent many things, and also as a footballer, it was uh, top. top I, I have in my notes a simple note for this interview. Loved Luca, so we were going to come to this. Yeah, Luca okay. was a guest on this. I agree. And since uh, '95, when I first came to your Juventus. I've known him, we've been friends, he's a, he's a great man. It, it means also with that five-a-side team that you've picked, maybe you have to go back in goals like you did once for Benfica. Yes, yeah? so, yes. But you were brilliant yes, that but, day because but, you but, won. But, but if you have all, all the time, <laughs> the ball. You know, and then and scoring always more than all the opponents, so it's, probably we can put the goal out. The bad news from this beginning is we're going to need a day for this interview now because already you've, you've, you've got angels singing in my head about the subjects that you've talked about. But... Where I want to begin, because I, you don't look any older than you did. I do. I feel older. <laughs> and therefore, I have to recognize that some of the people that listen are not the same age as me. So we have to speak. We have to begin with Paolo, the footballer. Okay. okay. I know as a coach, you like to look forward. You're a modern thinker. You have big triumphs coming in the seasons ahead as a, as a, as a coach, for sure. But when I watched you... There was something that you believed in or you did or you represented, which is the same reason that we have these interviews. Because you, 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 I felt you played with adventure. You played with 
risk. Yeah. I'd almost like to say that as a footballer, you, you, although you played to win, you were a romantic. Partly in how you looked, the hair was to here. Yeah. I don't know, in, <laughs> in the 70s Portugal, which was a change in culture, whether long hair was approved of or it wasn't, you were coming out of a, a lifestyle, a regime in Portugal then that was similar to Spain, mm -hmm. and extravagant, piratical looks were a way of declaring independence and liberty and freedom, but your play on the ball, some of the things I loved was the way in which you talked about Zizou and his balance, yeah. and Chris Waddle, you had the same ability to, with your equilibrio, with your body, to show somebody the dummies that you sold to people, <laughs> fucking hell. Thank you so much. Why did you play the way you did? H have I described the way you played correctly or not? I think probably because I find out like big part of uh, also players find out a big passion re uh, really early. But without uh, the tools today, um, other boys they, they can have. Uh, I could not have uh, television, uh, internet, so that uh, I need to um, uh, be creative. Um, on my skills. Uh, uh, fortunately, my father loves football. In that time, in my city, Viseu, uh, Academic Viseu is playing in the, in the first league. For that, uh, I don't have access to the stadium because uh, the stadium always uh, was packed. For that, I, saw, I see the most of the games on the three um, uh, with my father. I need wait, to wait, go wait. in the tree. Up, up the, the tree. Up the tree, yes, up the tree. You know it. And That's passion. This is passion. This is passion. It's uh, and try to find out, identify players, skills they are doing, and then uh, in, in garage of my father where he works because my father it was a, a, a mechanic of motors. Uh, I and it's, I live in a house with. I have another family behind uh, on the on the, in the basement. On, on the basement, and then on, we and the, uh, up. He create. Um, a garage where he works all the motors, and I, I need to improve things. I, I, you know, it my skills all the time. You know, controlling, and also uh, speed, power. I, uh, I, put the ball running. Then I go running on the on the on the stairs. How many stairs I could I could join and then drop. Then, regarding with the sound to sh to sh to kick. And then it's not only to kick. It's where I want to put the ball to accurate this, I need dribbling, uh, controlling, you understand myself, for that I think all this passion, it make me, um, um, you know, be what I was uh, as a football player, it means, um, then I went to Benfica, I still work um, after the trainings skills all the time, when I becoming professional, everywhere where I was, I get the chance to have connect with young players, also to work uh, the technical skills and to give reference also to, uh, to, the, to, the, to the young boys. All this passion, um, it was part and it is part of my life all the time. Uh, and this is the way I try to, you know, to uh, uh, enthusiast, uh, give enthusiastic to the people. Uh, it comes to the to, to the stadium. It's um, yes, I was a romantic uh, playing football. Um, I I have the opportunity to play in different positions and to recognize uh, what um, uh, it, it is the needs of certain players in certain positions. I started to play as a winger, then as a striker, uh, playmaker, second striker, and then uh, in my first year professional. Uh, with 17 years old, with Sven Gorin and Eriksen, the opportunity comes to play uh, on the uh, on the on the middle, because uh, a number of players that was involved in the World Cup and they come late. Uh, for that, I saw at this opportunity, uh, Sven he, he showed me also he could be have a chance. Why not? I I I, I work, I improve, focus to understand that, and. Then it was also easy to, uh, you know, it feed the players up front of me, and the way I read the game, it was something, you know, it uh, always a way in the daily basis where I develop myself uh, to understand others, my teammates, 
I give you, for example, some examples with, for example, with Luis Figo or with Pauleta in the national team. Luis Figo, always, I could find out the space a little bit more up front, more deep, where I can make the pass there because it was the space. But with Luis, I need to understand Luis, he wants the ball always on the feet, where he, after that he will go to make the decisions. For that, it's not only the game plan or uh, what uh, coaches they ask, but also the understanding of, uh, you know, it between. Our, between us, it's really important for that. You need to learn, you need to all have always in your presses in the mind to understand others. Um, outside of the pitch, inside of the pitch, where you can make always uh, good decisions and where you can interact and communicate with the others. The same with Pauleta. Pauleta make always one movement, you know, to receive in support, but always to... To, to, to come short or to, to go beyond No, the it's always to come short, to create space behind and after that to... For that, I need to give a, a extra time. Instead and pass the ball in the first movement, you know, it, it, I need to wait to where he goes to creating the space yeah. for himself, where then he can receive the ball. So that it's a really important, this type of interpretations. Uh, uh, on but, but when you were making these type of interpretations, let's say you were a six then. Yes. Uh, well, not originally, yes. originally you moved back. You make, I asked this question of Iniesta once, where he, you're making the, okay, there's things called automatismo. So maybe if you yes. play a, a lot with Pauletto, you play a lot exactly. with Luis Figo, it becomes part of your nature. But you're in the match, you're making these calculations. With Pauletta, I have to wait three beats until he makes yes. the run, or it's, it's Luis. He's showing long, but he isn't, and he was going to want it to. You're making these decisions, these calculations, yes. in millions of seconds. Yes. These types of decisions, did you think about them, or were they automatic? Eventually. They, they eventually. becoming more automatic because uh, my brain, uh, this is to anticipate the things, you need to think, and you need to do it also in training sessions. This is something it comes automatic because it's something becoming natural. Because you think, you analyze, uh, to decide and to make after um, you have after that the, the technical component of, about the pass. But um, the idea is to put all these things together the quicker as possible. Mm -hmm. And then I understand why later uh, all, the, all, all, all um, these kind of things. Because I was a guy always, sometimes uh, some teammates, they joke with me. Um, because uh, in the moment we have, you know, it enthusiastic on the bus going to this uh, to the stadium. I was always calm, you know, and s looks sleeping, but not uh, visualizing the things it goes to happen with all the elements the coaches they give to us regarding the training session, the, regarding the images they collect from the opponents, especially the ones they are more close to our. Um, uh, zone of control yeah. um, to understand what's going on. For, it's like to you know to put things in uh, our subconscious there, but very clear for our conscience, the present, where it will be request to deliver quick. So and I visualize already that things w without nobody say to me to, to do these kind of things. And today uh, I realize because you know it learning. Uh, with psychologists, with people he knows how to uh, work and uh, you know, make people more alive, be more connect with um, something who helps the procedures of um, uh, decision and, and the quicker, because they have it already. It's something, wow, I say, wow, I, I, I made it this since a young age. Uh, and probably if I know it before, I could de develop more of these type of skills, you know. It's because they're... Oh man, this is beautiful. We're going to need two days. The vis it's exactly what I was going to say to you. Visualization can't control everything that will happen, but it can reduce your thinking time. Yes. And it can make people like me or fans who know less about the game than you, but love it to the same degree, that's when we use words like, I'm Paolo's genius or Zizou's genius because he can do everything in this small space with an opponent rushing at him. Everybody else looks hurried, but you look slow and in control. They call it pausa in Spanish football. I don't know what they call it in Portuguese football. But part of this, the visualization helped you so much to be able to do things 
with more um, reliability to do things quicker, to make it look to us like when we always say he had more time on the ball. You didn't actually have more time on the ball, it's just that you did better things more regularly, more quickly. Yes. Uh, of course, you have normally we have four components we coaching uh, with players and players they need to be used uh, on session and on the, on the game, technical, tactical, mental process and physical. Uh, and uh, you know it's the the mental and and the, the tactical. I say the the understanding of the game or more not on the game the complexity of the game mm -hmm. because the game is complex, uh, but. If you know about uh, special, for me, game it's based in time and space. Yeah, mainly for that, it's more than uh, the te technical aspect who is really important to go out of you know uh, uh, so many complexities in in certain moments. It's everything. It's before that. Mm -hmm. For that, it's I, I uh, um, uh, some weeks ago. I, I come to myself and I started to thinking about because people send me some images from me when I played and seeing that I, I, I said to me um, the, the first thing I, 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 I collect from that, uh, that, uh, uh, that view it was before because I read well really, really well the game I always anticipate because uh, I reading the game I give feedbacks to all my players in front of me to correct themselves and they help me to make decisions and to anticipate. But the thing I saw it in that videos, it was uh, before I get the ball, I have already a decision. No, I have already a decision. Straight away. But then it's like you say, it's sometimes the decision change because the control or when I uh, um, steal the ball, um, the ball you don't was straight away clear uh, and this timing enclose one type of line of, uh, but straight away we find out ways to, to deal with that. And this is what, uh, in my opinion, it can help to improve uh, players on decisions. It's, you know, to, to have um, something where we could anticipate and you can work on that mm -hmm. in your brain. In our coaching education and also with Frade, uh, Vitor Frade, uh, because it's from uh, Porto and also uh, um, Paco Cirulo, uh, two guys I'm keeping always reading uh, um, uh, um, what they are uh, saying um, and what they have then in, in, in mind. Um, but becoming a, um, someone really important like uh, Damasio, a, a neurosurgeon from the Portuguese, but it's already in, a, um, in a USA already for a while, um, where we bring back to our um, coaching method of working. It's practically it's to experience players uh, to moments linked with some emotions. Or practically, it's leaving things we predict go happens on the game, where the player he could have um, you know frames yes. uh, in this in this head, frames, like a cinema frames, cut. like a, yeah. but leave it. It's not only the imagery. We find out with the kids when you show images. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, to acquire pro, um, uh, ideas and, and concepts that are quite well because it's visual, it's there. You can work with words. You can words neurologically with, measure what the, the frame does to e the Exactly, but mind. when you put them in the actions, make them living, to creating exercise where they go to live, the, 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 the decision, it could be different, because the moments they are different, but the, mom, the, the, the idea, what we think, or it means the pattern, we think it goes to happens on the game with lots of repetition. If you make them pass many, of, often during the week in the preparation of the game, the player, it's already acquired. It means it's something you put it in your subconscious, 
who is in the past something you you already left you you, yeah, you lived, lived through it. and then you go to the present it's like the game it's like some deja vu yes. it's something yes. becoming much more quicker and of course the visualization like i said something i made it without knowing it 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 was it based it was based in you did it instinctively, instinctively without any neurological learning no, or reading nothing, or nothing, 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 internet etc yes it was the focus of in everything what my coach is saying about uh, uh, opponents, uh, about us, what we train, and then it's visualize all these kind of things. I'm in the day of the game more focus in my direct opponents, mm -hmm. what normally they are used to do it, first touch, if you need to take a little bit more time uh, to do decisions, if they are always more with the back or on the opponent's goal or not. Uh, if always they have the they had a help on the game, uh, if you know it te technically the first control if it's good or not, it's, this is something you know it I visualize I to have it in mind to uh, regarding because sometimes I don't need it to see um, the face of the because I know it the no, rest where they instinctively know instinctive, yes and this is make me to take uh, uh, lots of decisions very quick. Very quick. And then, like I said previous, I work technically because I think the, 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 this tool of um, uh, the technical, it's, uh, it's a repetition. Yes. It's, you know, you're working. working Beginning from working. the garage, because in the he, garage, he started it's in like the a garage. squash court. Exactly. If you're playing the ball here, what angle will it come at me? How quick will it come at me? If I let it bounce off this wall and I'm moving immediately off it, Playing football in a squash court, and I'm going to take a tiny pause. Our second interview ever in this series of 110, 111, was with Gordon Strachan. I don't know if you remember yes, him. Yes, I remember him. Played for Aberdeen, which yeah, is yeah. all the other teams he played for. I don't care about. But he's a thinker <laughs> like you, and he dislikes how in Scottish football, a kid of talent, let's say a 15-year-old, 16-year-old Paulo Sosa, coming through in Dundee or Edinburgh, might have to travel 150 miles on a Tuesday night to play a youth game against another team and get 20 touches on the ball. Yeah. And he went into his garage, aged 55, and said to his wife, close the door, bang on the door when one hour is up, and I need to see how many touches I can get by, by, by using your... And this is with, with him, yeah. aged 55, to see touches, touches, touch, repetition, like yeah. you say. So the, the basis of the garage is, is like being in a squash court for a footballer. But the mentality thing, you, you invented visualization. Nobody then was talking about visualization in, in Portuguese no, sport no, or, or European no. the, sport. The first time I, I started to uh, notice it's something I could uh, invest, it was when I, come to, uh, uh, when I went to Italy. To play you with you went to someone he um, um, give me a book I don't remember who uh, the person he gave the, the, this book um, Phil Jackson oh the Chicago's, basketball coach with uh, it was his first it was his first book yeah talking about uh, Jordan. mainly Jordan yeah, mainly course. Jordan manager how to involve Jordan in the process of make the others better <laughs> yeah. than himself probably yeah, yeah. Right. and it, it, it's uh, Phil Jackson it's a guy very you know it uh, also uh, direct to you know to this uh, this mind spirit yes um, uh, he, 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 he push players who is not so easy especially in football because I try to understand how I can achieve this time of um, this type of things uh, with my players in, in certain teams um, and we are still a little bit far away to put all the team you know before each training session to cool down hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. you know it to um, put his mind or put their mind you know it in in the position where um, connected with you know it's something uh, else 
football in, in football, general isn't ready for it's, this. It's, it's, They're it's like, still, coach, let's get on, let's get, get the boots on and let's get muddy and let's true, play. It's true, it's true, it's true. saying, it's true. But you, you started to see already many players, true. for example, individually to do it yoga. Yes, mm, yes. Uh, not only for uh, the stretching, uh, but also, you know, to the breathing, uh, to have a moment on them. Calm. Also, calm. Quietness down, in here. Because mindfulness. The, mindfulness. And this, because this, it brings you intuition, it brings you creativity. If you work, you know, it in the daily basis, you started to find out because you are educa educating your brain to control yourself. You have a light a bulb. Sometimes you have a light bulb moment. Yes, we call it. I was I was talking to Omar this morning because I, I I've been. It may not seem this way, but I've been preparing. But you can prepare and prepare and prepare, and you know lots of things, but you don't have a moment where your mind says, "Piching." And this morning, over coffee in Luis's cafe, I was thinking about what I wanted to out wear the, and I was visualizing also. But I remember Pep Guardiola very young in, in his first second season at Barcelona. He said he, he worked in an office with no light, no natural light, hour after hour looking at videos, no photos of the family, t totally Spartan. But he said, the more I think, the more I work, I know that eventually, suddenly something goes, flash bulbs, which is not identical to yoga or mindfulness, but it's the moment where the mind says, thank you, you've given me enough information, you've given me enough space. I know in advance what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to touch. The mind yes, yes, likes yes, yes. to be ahead. If you can help it, be ahead. No, no. I, I think uh, more and more we recognize uh, this is a tool where we can uh, work and develop. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's it will be uh, more and more in the football. Um, um, you know, um, staffs. Uh, also with with uh, psychologists. Artificial we can, uh, intelligence? Um, the artificial intelligence, it's already there. Uh, you know, it, we, it's, uh, we use it, uh, lots of soft, softwares where we can uh, support, you know, it uh, to get um, uh, information where after that we can use it. But uh, more than this, for example, I, I already you have a number of uh, uh, clubs already helping players, special to recover quicker. Yes. Uh, with uh, setting their minds, focus already like they living. It's practically it's because when you have a kick or a pain or, mm -hmm. or injury, your brain is sending information. Mm -hmm. If you send to your information to your brain, it's they are okay. Yeah. Everything it's okay. You the regeneration, the, the regeneration, it's the, quicker. It, when you it's say it like that, it makes so much sense. You understand? You, 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 yeah, my body will react differently. Completely it, different. It won't heal it in 10 minutes, but it can change the... You can work a lot. You can work a lot yeah. your mind yeah. to control much better yeah, yeah. the information. Because all of our life, it's thoughts. Mm. If, the, if you have a positive thoughts, you can drive, you can guide also. The regeneration. That's of right. Your it body. doesn't make everything better, but it makes your path clearer, smoother, more positive, and quicker. And quicker. And quicker. This is the point at which anybody listening will say, "Graham, what a brusque, what a brusque jump!" But, but I, I can't help. I have to associate this with a, a converse, unless it's personal, a conversation we had before the microphones came on, that you're the Portuguese Garincha. <laughs> How could you play, not, as, not just as successfully as you did, but with the balance and the elegance as you did when... Never I never knew that. your whole career, you were playing in huge pain, not even your knees, which people know about, but explain to me one, so that the listeners can understand the problem that you had, what it did to you, but for sake, how the hell did you then manage to play like you did? It's the love for football. It's... Uh, it's uh, you know, it, when you have that such passion, such love, you know, to, to do what you love to do, um, you don't have pain. But tell what the pain was. Uh, no, the pain, it was really high. In uh, your hip? It's in my hip, in my knees, uh, you know, it's then always my body, it was unbalanced. I need to, 
it's my my first operation it was 17 years old in my knees then the second the other knee 19 for that you know it you becoming always um, unbalanced and then with 17 they will also uh, they want to operate as a, uh, a pubis problem where my biggest problem it was my hip you know it and what I made it I, I read five books about pubalgy I myself and some uh, part of um, uh, the professional uh, physios from Benfica at that time, uh, Antonio Gaspar, uh, now it's in the national team. Um, it's, we, 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 we set uh, a work to uh, preparation of the, 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 the normal session, then a recover of that session. This I made it all so my you, career. You would do I make it all my career before training and, and, and physical recuperation after, after training. After the training, yeah. and then in the afternoon, uh, reinforce strength. I, strength practically reinforce all my body to get the, the, uh, the most balances possible. And I made it all this all my life, till the moment I started to uh, becoming weak mentally, because uh, my muscles, because I was completely unbalanced. My muscles also they get injury for it. I, I made it, you know, one two months at high level. Then I get injured. I need to recover more one month and a half. Again, you know, running physios get me ready to and always the key moments I don't was there and dizzy becoming you know to be for me rare, really heavy. It wears you down. Yes, yes. And uh, I took a decision very early to... to so your, but your passport age when you stop at Espanol is 31. Yes. But given everything you've lived through, in real terms, it's 38, 39 because of all the extra work you've had to do yeah. to compensate for the back. Because you, you showed me earlier on, despite having great control of the ball and time and space and being a midfielder who could move through challenges, you, you you couldn't extend your leg be properly, and I, and I could not make extra work like I would like to keep always, you know, it uh, improving my skills uh, to be always um, physical um, uh, on the top, you know, to um, bring all my abilities, my creativity on the game. Uh, for that, these these components, I could not work. For that, it's always I started in the process. Like I took the decisions to go to Panathinaikos because it was a warmer yeah, uh, climate. Okay. Uh, also, mu for muscle, it's good for your muscles, it was yeah. much, much better. Uh, and also with the idea, you know, it, to jump some games where it allowed me yeah. to recover from one game to the other. Um, I tried everything, you know, to to be happy in everything what I, I love to do it. And you have a strong, interesting mind. <laughs> you were blessed with a strong okay, character mind too. Yeah, but yeah. The, the natural question, Paolo, is that um, get for somebody who prepared all his life so well in every aspect, whether it be physical or mental or technical, I've heard you talking about the complete change that you found when you moved, moved to Juve. Yeah. What were those? So I was lucky enough to go there and speak to Lippi, to Ventroni, also Serie A. At that stage particularly, was the strongest football in the world yeah. by a distance, by miles. Italy has always taken football differently from you, seriously, in a different way. Like it's, 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 it's a matter of life and death, of state importance. You took it seriously in Portugal because of love of the game and intensity about I must be the best I can be. And, but there, I don't even know how to describe how the Italians think about conceding a goal is a crime, a tragedy. What, summarize some of the dif dif uh, differences you found when you moved to that lippy environment in Turin. Um, yeah, that process it helped me a lot to be what uh, I am today. Um, on the football as well, because uh, I develop um, one part of myself uh, was uh, really stuck because I was always a very shy boy, and uh, Italy it pushed me, yeah. uh, you know, to uh, on on my communication, it exposed me, and because I think they recognize um, uh, intelligence. Yeah. on football, 
so that they want to know it what's going on in my head because I only only express on the pitch about that and uh, Marcelo um, and uh, um, some teammates, special Gianluca Viali, like we, we, we spoke, it always ask what I think about the training sessions, the opponents, the games, always the what is my thoughts. opinion. Yes, my opinion. And this it, it, it make me have to develop my process of thinking mm -hmm. uh, more accurate, where I can uh, express uh, better mm -hmm. also myself about all these things. But, but you don't just mean in Italian, you mean in character, in maturity, Ever, in, in losing shyness, everything. Ever, everything. Yeah. This, it, it make me, you know, it, uh, this being exposed, it make me better communicate with people. Yeah. Uh, and of course, it gave me also the chance to uh, develop a process of uh, um, uh, understanding the game better. But before, and this is something I, 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 I realized, being shy, it gave me the chance to develop also a, a better observation on the others, okay, yeah. on the environment. It helped me also on the process, the process of to learn others only with the highest body language what you understand yes and uh, all this and then when i arrived to italy because italy it's of course everything mainly it's tactical uh, studying the opponents um, you know it make decisions strategically um, working hours and hours on the pitch about positional uh, distance um, um, the way you need to have your body, some individual your concepts, body, shape. the body shapes and so on. And this it, it makes me grow a lot uh, to understand and to realize also myself things I'm doing natural, why I'm doing and what I can develop um, with all this uh, type of information. Because um, you have a schedule and, and Pro Doma has a plane to catch. <laughs> I, I could talk to you for days about Juve. Um, but let me pick. I told you pre-recording about, maybe I want to know, I think you've explained some of it already, but I was fortunate to go twice to Juventus to study, once with the Celtic manager, Tommy Burns, and Lippi because the Celtic manager was there, and Lippi remembered Tommy playing for Celtic against, against Juventus in 80. He showed him a lot of respect. So during a training session, and you know what it's like near the pole in, in January of 95. Let's not be mean, but it's grey, it's cold, the, the moisture, the damp gets in your bones. And Lippi was in the middle of a training session, he came to sit next to us with Daniele Boaglia, who we both know. And Boaglia was in the translation. And maybe in those days, I, I don't know. Maybe Luca was already very famous, or Ravanelli always looked special because of the, the razor cut grey hair, or Peruzzi was a, in that stage maybe the best goalkeeper in the world, genius also, and this one, blah, blah, blah. But he was talking about personalities, Lippi. He, he pointed to you. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a compliment, but maybe at the time a backhanded compliment. I think you were wearing a Chandala tracksuit and a Kagul, and maybe even an overcoat and gloves, and I think. I think, maybe I'm lying, two hats. And Lippi went, look, look at them. Look at his body, he, he's in shape, he, he looks miserable, he doesn't want to be here. In training, he'll never score a goal. And then his face changed and he went, Sunday, nine out of 10, watching, boss, control. Monday again, like this, and he did this. So I don't think he was being rude. There was, there was admiration and marvel in his voice. I think as he was discovering you, so, for example, your personality or your physique or your looks compared to Luca, who, yes. who takes everything in life like a lion or whatever, everybody's different. But there was admiration in his voice. Do you, do you recognize his description? <laughs> I could recognize, yes, because it was, look, for me, it was um, a big impact when I arrived to Italy um, on sessions, training sessions. I remember the first press season. Uh, after two days, I looked to me in the mirror and I said, I could handle, I, I could not handle anymore. How I can go to the training? I could not move, pain everywhere uh, in my body, you know. It's, and for me, in that time, it's a football, it's not like that. 
it's not muscles it's not for me it was completely different but okay i i, I went to the to the um, to the best uh, league in the world in that time like you express yourself with the best players around you know it and i say okay i need to be strong and i ask to jaluka but jaluka how it's possible these kind of things you, you, your body then will becoming adapt you will adapt uh, come 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 but i was always very difficult uh, you know it uh, difficult moments for me because I, I i could not step in on the pitch i feel it really you know legs heavy painful all the time and how i can play football like that for me it was also a big impact and a change uh, but also winter time winter time i come for like a Portugal, you know, it, we, yes, we, we, have, we have winter in that time with some raining and, but that cold, I never expected. And, and damp cold. Uh, damped completely. And so for me, you know, it's like, it's, wow, it's how I can, how I can express myself, how we can training. But uh, yes, everything was part of my process of uh, learning and, uh, and growing on that because for me, it's, it's, it's like, uh, to be on the pitch and but feel to be in the street where I can uh, enjoy playing uh, with my teammates um, to do that and the adrenaline for the games the adrenaline and because and what I said it before the training sometimes it looks I was not there or I could not be there but I always very uh, focused in all Marcel is saying to me, my teammates, uh, uh, regarding my, um, my teammates, like what they are used to do it, what type of characteristics they have, how I can help them, how I can help me to make the best decisions to them. Um, and, you know, it's, um, ask them also, special on the back, uh, to have some feedbacks with me, to have a good communication with me. Also, I made it, for example, special, and we mentioned Ravanelli. Mm -hmm. With Ravanelli, with Torricelli, we, I pass with them hours and hours to help them to develop their technical skills. Yes, hours because both hours. of them were physical beasts. Hours and, and hours. For them, the training, the Venturoni training is perfect. But the, the development of the football skills, that's... Yes. And, and I was there with them. for Discussing? This, this, and, and, and playing. And uh, help them, you know, to control, pass, passing time with them, also with them. Already, lots, or, or lots, already lots. a mini coach. Yeah. No, more than a mini coach, of course, it's something I, I love to do it. I always, you know, it, this, I could pass on the pitch um, for hours. Hours, but doing, expressing that love, I was have it with, with the football. For you, that's the equivalent of what I'm doing now, because Listen, if I had your talent, I would spend it on the pitch doing that too. <laughs> because I don't, this is my equivalent. This is like, you know, my head is just full of joy. Time will, time will beat us. So we have lovely sponsors who support us, Bet365. And they, they said, they've asked a lot of questions about back-to-back -back Champions League. Maybe because we've talked so much about technique and the brain and science. Maybe some emotions now. How would you compare that? Because in that meeting we went, Marcello had the privilege I felt. He sat down at the lunch table, which was a bit in the Comunale, the, the cafe. For yes, it was really bare, really yes. basic. But he had a little whiteboard and some magnets. And he said, uh, this is how we will beat Madrid in March. Because and then the Champions League has bigger gaps. And, and he said, uh, and he, he talked about the, the lust, the need for Juventus to conquer Europe again. So that's one thing. And eventually you do. Then the knee problem, Juventus don't deal with you well, they, they, they underestimate you, mm -hmm. so you go to Dortmund, you work with a brilliant coach in Hitzfeld. For you and the clubs, how do you compare the two experiences of, of winning the Champions League? The, the, what it meant to you in the moment, the, the actual, also I mean the physical feeling of being handed the trophy and lifting it or hugging it. Tell me about those things. No, living is, you know, it, you have one year um, of hard working, um, you know, competing with top teams and, you know, it, in the end of one season where in that moment all the focus, it was on that uh, final, 
because uh, in that in that time you have one week all the journalists, photographers around you Sorry. for one week yes. there focus on that on that game. You feel it, you know it, that anxiety, you know, to play the final and to get, you know, it uh, winning because in history you remain only the ones that win. For that you you feel, you know, it the the, the weight, the weight. Yeah, on all season in that moment also to deliver and to, and to win. But there was completely different, of course. Juventus, when I, when I arrived to Juventus, or Juventus don't win a league for nine years. Yes. And I get a big impact straight away. Uh, I was voted being... Uh, by the players. By the players, yes. by the coaches, by the journalists, you know, it's uh, being the, 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 the most important figure in the... In the in by that March, team. the distance from Parma, the, you, effectively, the league was won by March. Incredible. Ex exactly. And, you know, it, and everything what they have been building, also mentally, the focus to uh, becoming a winner team, uh, not for that season, but for the next seasons. You know, like a, a, a huge important cycle of winnings. It's, you feel it in the air, uh, in the daily basis, with, with, uh, with, uh, with um, uh, directors, the president, the, the, the coach, and involve the players, and then all this energy passing to the, to the, to the fans, you know it waiting for, for that and then second year you have the focus of the Champions League uh, for everything what happens in the past, um, something the way we are playing, um, you know it's very enthusiastic, great wins and yes you arrived the four finals against Madrid who was in my opinion one of the most difficult events for us you know to achieve that, that the final. First match it was uh, really, really hard and difficult. Um, it was the stadium is impressed me more, mostly. Um, yes, Bernabeu. It's I feel it very small. Um, I have two moments uh, of anxiety and uh, really nervous uh, to play the game. One it was that one, and the other one it was the final uh, Dortmund um, Juventus, and I, I later I pass it to uh, to explain to you. But then, in that time, you know, it, with Juventus, arrived to the final uh, with Ajax. In that, he passed four, five years, you know, it's on outstanding performance. It was a phenomenal team. It's unbelievable. They were the holders, I think. Yes, yes. Uh, and, you know, it's two years working, one week focus on that game, and in the, game, in the day of the game, again. You know, it, tactically, how it represents that. You know, it's very focused in everything what we need to, to do it. But very confident also as well mm -hmm. as a team because this it was all the process. You know, this is something we want. This is, and we build it up, you know, it, and we make sure everything it happens mm -hmm. and it happens. And you can feel the last part of the, 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 the game. It was, you know, it's some we wanted, mm -hmm. and we we have uh, an, a good number of opportunities to uh, to to finish the match without to Before go to penalties. the penalties. Yeah. But also in the penalties, we feel a great energy. We feel Seriously. it's this is the moment because this it was built not in that moment, not in that day. It was built during, you know, it uh, uh, two years uh, of a winning mentality. You understand? Interact between us. And it was it was amazing. It was amazing. It's in, in the end. Um, I get also a, a, a funny a funny story in, uh, in the end because me and Danny Bling, we, we need to end to the doping, and we was completely out. <laughs> we, we was more than three hours drinking beers, looking to each other. When? How, how, when? how it's possible? How it's possible? <laughs> With him probably sad. Uh, sad, yeah, but okay, but I. I I want to go to get party. I want to <laughs> enjoy myself. I want to express all my the, the emotions because after all this that time, oh, you, yeah. you, want you want to, to put release. it out, the release yeah. exactly. And uh, it was after that. It was it was like that. It was it was amazing. With Dortmund, um, have a, you know it all the uh, the weight of the emotions to leave Juventus because uh, feeling. Um, 
they don't want to relate in me in the future mm -hmm. for my knee or for whatever they have it in mind. They express uh, uh, straight away after the, 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 that, that match. And, and when I went in um, uh, the Euro 96, uh, you know, it um, started to uh, receive, you know, messages to okay, have lots of... Uh, they didn't uh, treat clubs. you with respect, in my opinion. They didn't. They're a hard-minded club. Yes. Which can be part of being a winner club. Yes, but yes, yes. They yes, didn't yes. treat you with enough respect. Also, Zidane was coming in and. Especially, especially what everything I give uh, made to them because I made one year uh, with uh, a knee injured uh, I, because my knee injury started two months before the the first year. Fin uh, finalize with uh, swelling and so on and special then I don't pass I don't have a good holidays because I need to get to the doctor doctors to treat me so and you so don't regenerate uh, mentally, and mentally and relax and, and relax yeah. it, it don't was easy you know and then all the season yeah. uh, you know it's uh, with um, uh, with therapies very invasive therapies in my knees uh, to be involved on the game you know, to help them, to support them, to score because they asked Nantes them. in the semi-final. Exactly, exactly. It's you but know. But they it, didn't repeat you. Gave, you sacrificed a lot for them. Yes, and, they, and for me, a little bit went like this. And uh, it, it, uh, emotionally, it cost me a lot. Yeah. Uh, but uh, straight away, I it was in my moments. Okay, I I still have one year. I could stay here. Yeah. Get to operate and stay here. But I said. Okay, I understand. I will go to take one decision. I will leave it. And for the, the all the clubs, they are interesting me. Uh, two of them, uh, I was a little bit more focused on them. It was Arsenal and uh, Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund, I I, I compete against them uh, the yeah. two previous years, yeah, four yeah. finals and semi finals, yeah. the, uh, Europa uh, Champions League and the Europa League, and. Uh, I find out you know, all my analysis of the team. It was I could make a big impact mm -hmm. on this, and I, we was honest uh, when we arrived to them, saying we have a problem on this and my knee. I don't know what's going on, what it could be, because I, I pass uh, a good number of time. You know, I, I went to um, um, more, I went to nine doctors mm -hmm. because all them, all the most of them, they said to me, I, you, you are finished. You, it's better to. Yeah. To stop it and all these things in my mind, you know it. I said, but uh, I have all my life, you know, to enjoy playing football. I can stop. Mm -hmm. And finally, I, I I find out one doctor. He gave me some more motivation. Um, it was it was in in Paris. Uh, Professor Sayan uh, give it say to me, okay, after the operation, you have uh, minimum around five months and a half, six months. Uh, but I was so focused yeah. in, in, in that competition of Champions League because <laughs> when I arrived to Dortmund, the way I present myself um, in press conference, it was like a big impact in all the most of journalists. I remember quite well uh, to see it because I have this, this still this memory and I said, I come here to win the Champions League. Uh, some guys from, from the, the cameras, he can like... <laughs> <laughs> Put their head. What's he talking about? What he's talking about? You know, it, and this but you is, meant it. There, you, it, it, it was coming that. from inside. When I took that decision yeah. to go to Dortmund, that was the reason. This was the reason. This is what the reason. And I, I show, and I make sure in the daily basis, also in my recover process of my knee, mm. with all my teammates there, showing it's there. I'm we we, we, we go this. there. We we achieve that. I suppose because Kohler was the you, you Kohler. Shared, Kohler. I mean, nobody talks about him now. Talking hell. For me, player. the best top. What a player! And you look across your team. One of our guys that we haven't time, Robert. I'm sorry to ask about Paul Lambert. Liam, we are talking about your question, but you played four key. I think four key games in that Champions League. Yeah. Then and. I, I believe that outside your dressing room, your training ground, maybe also outside the, the mind of a privileged coach in Hitzfeld, maybe not many people thought that your side could beat Lippi's side. In the end, not just the scoreline, but the manner in which you frustrated Juventus, you confused them. They weren't ready for either your, your tactics, how you scored the goals, okay, the last one, is famous because of the manner of the goal, but the, 
it was an extraordinary athletic and tactical performance. Strategically, it was extraordinary, I thought. Yes. We, we, the first 20 minutes, Juventus he put us in, in some troubles because they have lots of quality. Yeah. The, the two strikers they signed um, the years previous, you know, with uh, Boxic and uh, Vieri, amazing, with Zinedine, with Del Piero on the bench. It's, you know, it's, we're talking about uh, How is it possible? An, another level. But yes, this is something, and this, I, I, I go back for what I said bef uh, before, uh, that week before the match, mm -hmm. Dortmund, you don't realize uh, how bad the decisions it was to push me on the press because it's natural because I I, I, I won, He's the guy I, won, I won the last year, the last year with Juventus and then we go to, to play against, but it was, you know, it also the Italians, they tried to push me, you know, it, to confuse me, to put me under pressure all yeah. the time and they used that. Only in the day of the match, I could, you know, it. Uh, raise that, so that mindfulness. mindfulness, the focus on my task, the visualizations, what's going on, to make you know uh, good decisions on the pitch, but also communicate always well. Because in that time, in that week, if it was the week I remember, you know, more under pressure, and I could not realize, I could not deliver, you know, being guys. We got to win. We got to focus on that. We in the final. With our argues, we could win. This is why I made it all the season uh, with them. And yes, we started with some difficulty. And at a certain point, with all the game plan we have, I made a decision in the pitch, uh, saying to Paul Lambert, you take uh, Zinedine, you need to focus on him. Close, he cannot uh, he, he can, he, he can have time you know, to build it up. The rest of the... Um, the uh, the middle, it's I, I care. D don't 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 leave focus, it, focus on him. Me. Focus on him. I will do it all the rest with all my communication and so on. It was the moment to to uh, also he change. He have, have a big impact on that. But Otmar, it felt it was a coach. Um, I cannot forget in the way he interact with the players, especially with a number of players, in relating responsibility, also in the in the strategic decisions. We have a big impact on the dressing room and um, on, the, on, on the game. Without losing his leadership, it was very smart and really intelligent in the things how interact. But also, if I need to express myself um, the best skills they have, intuition. In the most of the games, all these decisions, the right time, the right people, right players mm -hmm. make a big impact. Mm -hmm. The same with the Riken, uh, the, the third goal, you know, it, it was something uh, amazing. But on the game, the players, they living that moment, they need to make decisions. And it was, myself, it was always uh, on that stage. Uh, I never put out, you know, it's decisions I would like to, I see it's the right ones to, to, to uh, to be done, and this is one of the right ones, and you get the right impact on that. And and it, it, let me say, and, and then you know, it, the best part is to have the recognitions for others, not from the yours, but from the others, and to have a big number of uh, Juventus fans recognize the impact I have in that team, the change, singing my name after the game, you know, wow. it's, it's, it was something I could not forget. You have twice, this one it was uh, in uh, San Siro against uh, AC Milan with Juventus when I played and the other one it was that. It's something, you know, it's for a player or for a protagonist on the, on the, on the game to have the opponents recognizing, you know, it, um, uh, the impact you you made it on the game. It's astonishing. It's astonishing. Because in Italy, football is war. Yes. And to chant the name of your enemy, it, it's, it, if there's any country in the world, maybe apart from Argentina, where that can't happen, it's Italy. It tells something beautiful about yes. you. And that's why I started talking about romanticism. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart that I have to make this the last question, probably not for you, because you have nicer things to do than this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, now... If it isn't a crude comparison, can I say you are Phil Jackson? 
and Lewandowski is Jordan. The idea about saying Robert, because I was at your game no, in the no, Euro. No, now I'm coming a little bit because um, I, my first um, step with Robert is to make him understand and adjust the frequency he have uh, in his mind regarding the way he think football and the way he act with his teammates in the national team. Because the frequency it went was the same. I feel all the games I saw it before, before I arrived, I saw Robert really frustrate yeah. on the game. Yeah. And a, a guy like him, he could not be. He need to enjoy it. Yes. It's, and you know, it, 10 years ago, Robert was completely different. For that, I predict a guy who works really hard to achieve what he achieved at the moment, winning continuous uh, individual trophies uh, and um, also collective. And I need to, you know, get the maximum from him. But the maximum from him is make him understand uh, how we need to interact with the others. Completely different than the his teammates in Bayern. Because they the level. training. Let's be on a, yes. as, as a Polish coach, you can say it so strongly, but a Bayern you can pick and choose and their ma mindset is like you went to it's win. They get know, the best, train the best. The frequency it's he need to learn because it's much more complex also for him. It's, he needs to learn about what type of decisions his teammates they do, at what time of the time they need to have uh, to get these decisions to adapt himself to this, not the, not the others to him. It's to be the opposite. And when you ask me that question about Phil Jackson and Jordan, it's something, this book, you get lots of impact on me. You know, it, and have the opportunity, you know, to coach a such player and such person like Robert Lewandowski and try to straight away my first contact, contact with three, four hours together in the airport of Munich, you know, it, to uh, know each other better, to understand him better and how I can touch him uh, slowly, you know, it's where I can um, regulate yeah. uh, the, that 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 uh, frequency yeah. regarding the others, and how we can walk together to something where he can uh, you know, enjoy, yeah. and then make the yeah, difference, for, for, and make the difference. Yeah, and it's and the truth, it's we are scoring in the national team finally every game. Yeah, it's assisting everyone. It's relating positively with most of his teammates. Yes, and. That energy now around the national team is huge. Who um, show us uh, because we we see all the players like believing in something really special, like following two leaders, following the coach, but also Robert now is one of us. We because he understands us more, we can service him more. The unity of the play, the enjoyment of all of them. I as think it, yes, it, but I think me as a coach, um, um, I always as a leader, I always involve players in leadership. Always, I think it's they need to make part of that. Yes, you understand? Yes, they because you know it's. Uh, of course, uh, um, a, 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 a team, it's like a, a, micro, a, a micro society, hmm. different personalities, mm -hmm. okay? We need to have some rules where we can, um, you know, walk together in, with these rules, with all the respect on that. Um, and to get the maximum of each one for the common identity, where we can, you know, achieve something really special. Because um, we cannot um, uh, we cannot put someone apart. We are not used to play so often when they have certain characteristics really important for this common identity. For that, if you make them part of the process, also in this leadership, they you know it's all this energy, all this they invest. They investing all the time. We close with that. We close with that one, because having done this, I expected to feel like this. 
and good luck to Poland. Maybe you maybe you play with them and, and maybe you take them far in Qatar. I don't know. But I'd like to see you working daily. I'd like to see you in a club now. Again, our sponsors, Betty, she's five asked, w- w- would you like to coach in England again? Of course. It's, I think the Premier, it's, uh, it's very challenged. Uh, with top players, uh, top coaches, uh, very demanding because you have games after games. Uh, very enthusiastic, all the... Um, um, all the, the atmosphere, the, the atmosphere you know, it's, it's really this for, you know, each protagonist, it's, this is the environment where you want to live in a daily basis, every time, in every game. Then, um, I don't know which camera is mine, then <laughs> just, just listen to the last hour and ten minutes clubs in the Premier League, or Barcelona, <laughs> and make a good decision. Paulo Sosa... Um, it sounds pathetic what I'm going to say, but like, like you said about goosebumps, all my, my brain, or all, all just the passion I feel about football, you've put a match under it today, and that was pure joy. Maybe only three, four times in 111 interviews I've said, in several months, can we do this again, please, Paul, can we do this again? Please? Yes, of course we will do it, because this is something I love to do it. Muito obrigado. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Fantastic. You're welcome.